All right, so I guess this big thing this month is the Disney and Pixar bracket. For whatever reason, people are going crazy about it, and they're choosing between the Disney side of movies and Pixar side of movies. And I think it's ridiculous, but I got to participate because apparently I don't know what the hell I'm doing with my life. So we're going to go and choose what uh, is the best movie or what is the correct movie out of this whole life of stuff. So first of all, on the Disney side, you got The Lion King and Tarzan. And I'm going to have to go with Tarzan on that one because it's got a fantastic soundtrack. It's really good music. You know, it's Phil Collins. He beats Elton John all the time. Rock and Man can go flying away for all I care. We got someone in the air tonight. Now, the next one is Princess and the Frog versus Lilo and Stitch. Now, to be honest, I've never seen Princess and the Frog. I've seen Lilo and Stitch about a hundred times. I'm going to have to go with Princess and the Frog, though, because I can't play favorites, and I don't want to, like, skew this bracket with a bias. So, that's going to be next. Uh, we got... I can't even read that. And we got Illegible versus Big Hero 6. So, between those two, I'm going to pick Wreck-It Ralph. Next up, we have... Oh, no. We got Frozen versus Moana. You know, this, this, this is going to be my throwaway pick. Because it's going to lose against the next round, so... Neither does win. It's just going to be a doesn't matter pick. Alright, moving on, we got Aladdin versus Hercules. Now, this is going to be a little bit of a tough one, because on one hand, you have the genie, who's a hilarious, funny guy. And then on the other hand, you have Hades, who's a hilarious, funny guy. So you got to choose between the funny guys here. And given between the two, I'm going to have to go with Dunstan Checks In, because that is the perfect blend of humor between both sides of the stories here. So we got that. Uh, next, we got Little Mermaid versus Pocahontas. And that's going to be an easy choice for me. I'm going to choose The Little Mermaid 2 because it's a good revenge story. Ursula's sister wants revenge on the Little Mermaid because she killed Ursula. Everybody loves revenge stories. There's been one volume. There's going to be a second volume. There's probably going to be a third volume coming up in a couple of years. So be on the lookout for that. Uh, next we have Mulan versus Zootopia. Again, this is another one where I haven't watched Zootopia. But Mulan is a classic, so... I'm going to have to go with the classic Emperor's New Groove on that one. Alright, next we have Beauty and the Beast versus Night Before... Oh, this is, this is going to be an obvious one, okay? So let me let me, let me me explain why. Nightmare Before Christmas, you have the Skeleton Guy, you got the Boogeyman, you got the Zombie Girl, you got the Two-Face, you got, you got the little kids that are brats. It's going to be a perfect choice. I choose Beauty and the Beast because it has Gaston in it. And honestly, Gaston's probably going to win the Disney side of Bracket, if not the whole thing. Now, let's go to the Pixar side. So we got Up against Brave. Both uh, emotional stories from what I've heard. I've only seen Up, Brave. I know it's about that brave girl. So I'm going to have to go with Bloom Boy, though, because it's really a test of your metal to be able to fly up into the stratosphere not knowing where you're going to end up. Now we have Toy Story versus Toy Story 2. This is going to be a tough one for all the 90s kids out there because they're two great stories. They got toys involved. It's going to be your choice between Mrs. Nesbitt or Newman. And you know me, I'm going to have to choose Seinfeld. So I go with Toy Story, the Seinfeld episode where George Costanza and Jerry Seinfeld play with the toys in the apartment while they uh, put the girl to sleep with uh, turkey and tryptophan. So yeah, that was easy. Now we got Coco versus Cars 3. I haven't seen either of those. That's going to go with not as bad as Frozen or Moana, but still going to lose. That's my pick for that one. Now we got Toy Story... Wait, Toy Story 3? Okay, it confused me because Cars 3 is up above that. So yeah, Toy Story 3 versus The Good Dinosaur. That's going to be an easy one. It's Peach Dragon. Nobody's heard of The Good Dinosaur. Everybody's heard of Peach Dragon. You got a reboot, man. The Good Dinosaur hasn't got a reboot, so... You know, that's, that's it. Now we got Ratatouille versus Bugs Life. On one hand, you got one movie about making food with a rat, and the other movie you have ants gathering food for the grasshoppers, the whole circle of life deal. But I'm gonna have to go with the movie Chef on that one because John Favreau cooked some better mo Yeah, yeah, John Favreau cooked better meals than Ratatouille. That's just how life goes. Now we have Finding Nemo versus Inside Out. Now this is gonna be an emotional one. I know that a lot of people 
have uh, big feelings about both of them, so I'm going to treat this one seriously, and I'm going to have to go with the Emoji Movie, because Emoji Movie has literal emojis expressing emotions, and you can't be more expressive than that. Now we have Monsters Inc. versus Cars. This is the old versus new. This is the generation of before with the monsters, and you have the new generation with cars. But neither of those are going to count because we have the next generation that's going to be all about planes. So planes picks up that spot. Now finally we have The Incredibles versus Wally. Now The Incredibles is a classic movie. I love it. I won't lie. It's like one of my favorite Pixar movies. Wally, I never seen. And I don't plan on seeing Wally. So I'm going to have to go with, uh, you know, it's going to be an obvious choice. I'm going with My Hero Academia because those are the Incredibles, but in anime form. All right, so that takes care of it for the first round. Now on to the second round, which isn't the quarterfinals, so we're going to skip that. We're going to skip this because nobody cares about the quarterfinals. So now we're going to go against Tarzan and Does Not Matter, and the winner of that one is going to be Max Heeple's Big Move. So that one wins out of that one, and then we have, what is it? I don't even remember. Oh, yeah, Gaston. Yeah, Gaston versus doesn't matter. Gaston wins that one. He's going to semifinals. Then on the Pixar side, we have... Ooh. I, I completely forgot what I said before. So we're going to have Spider-Man versus Green Goblin. The Willem Dafoe Green Goblin, not the American Spider-Man 2 Green Goblin. The one that goes, you know, I'm something of a scientist myself. The uh, one that goes... Out am I, Spider-Man, you can be my friend, or we'll fight, or, or, or that. It's the Sam Raimi Green Goblin, okay? So they're going against each other. Now, semifinals between the Disney side. So, sorry, Big Fat Liar, Gaston's going to the finals. And on the Pixar side, we got Despicable Me, Gru from Despicable Me going against Gaston, who's going to win in this final bracket. It's going to be a tough choice, guys, but I think you're going to be okay with what I pick here. And that winner is the IHOP Strawberry Syrup that you can get now at Food Source. It is the perfect choice. So yeah, hope you enjoyed my bracket between Disney and Pixar. See ya. It's been fun. It's been real. Cool train out.